friends and welcome to Spiritual Magic Journey. This is your monthly tarot card reading for the lovely sign of Gemini. For the month of October 2018. Yes, we're already here. Let's get these smoke signals going over here. Ooh. I've got Hollywood going too. And a cedar stick. So. I'm going to pull one card overview card for from the Keepers of the Light Oracle deck, guys. A couple of cards from the Witch's Tarot. And one from Postcards from Spirit. So you can get a message from Spirit directly. So. Let's see what an overview. Still got something burning over here, and the smoke is gathering. Overview, yes, harvest blessings. This is Halloween, the month of Halloween. So I hope everyone out there is going to have a wonderful, blessed, spooky, scary Halloween. Yay! Um, we do have a blood moon on the 24th, guys, of this month. I love this time of year. Che seasons changing, you know, falls here, the energy's changing. I think, I mean, it's just people are just little, you know, laid back, more laid back in the fall, and more in a better mood. I know I am. I love this weather and I love this, you know, fall. And I love this time of year. So, harvest blessings to you all. Give me an overview card, Spirit. Let's ring that bell. For the month of Gemini, you intellectual thinkers. Spare sign. You've got hope. So, love and acceptance love is yours recognize your divine worth choose loving thoughts love and acceptance so you got hope there with the lovely lotus let's pull us a couple of cards from the witch's tarot let's see what's going on with the lovely gemini i just want to say a quick shout out to thank you guys for liking and subscribing to my youtube channel thank you thank you thank you much Appreciated. Much gratitude. I'm just in a a goofy mood, a fun, you know, good mood. A good mood, and I like to be in a good mood when I'm doing readings. Love and acceptance. Looks like you were carrying a heavy burden, Gemini. A load. We need to get some of that load off your back there, I say. You have got a Ten of Wands, the Page of Pentacles, the Six of Cups, and the Knight of Swords ready to charge. Hmm, let's address the elephant in the room. What are you carrying with you? What is on your shoulders, on your back? That you are carrying this heavy load. Are you juggling too many jobs? Are you juggling too many things at one time? Are you trying to multitask? Um, and it's not working out? Or are you carrying a, some deep secret? That needs to be lifted off your back or your chest. What is it, guys? What is it, Gemini? Something you need to come out with. Drop drop the load. Get it off your back. Let it go. I want you to promise me to do that this month. If there's anything you're carrying 
it's a burden heavy weight especially if it's no longer serving you and that ten of wands is telling me that it is no longer serving you at this time let that go now we do have this page of Pentacles here and um, this page of Pentacles is about money material it could be you are going to be undertaking a new project maybe you have some desire for growth and knowledge you know along with an opportunity you're going to be able to achieve this so I want you guys um, to be on the lookout for that. Somebody could have some news about some money that's coming to you. So there's good news. And it could be about money. It could be about marriage. Or there's going to be a new way for you to make money. Maybe you are juggling too many jobs. Maybe you're going to find that one job um, that's going to supply the money for for those that have the two or three jobs. A better job. But money is on its way to you. So be on the lookout for that. Um, great card. You've also got the Six of Cups. And this is all about nostalgia and joy and pleasure. Just like the innocence of two kids out playing in the grass. You know, using their imagination. Um, in the everyday pleasures. You know, the nostalgia. Nostalgia. You know, goodwill. Um, maybe you're thinking about the past. Maybe you're thinking about when you were a kid. Maybe you're thinking about um, any recent events in the past. And you're wishing for more simpler days like that. And they can. I mean, you can have more simpler days like that. More days like you had in the past. It could be you're revisiting an old love. Maybe an old love is going to be coming from the past to revisit you. Um, but this is an aura of joy. But I think you get that heavy load off your back. You're going to see the weight, you know, that weight lifted off of you. You really have to do something about that. And I hope you guys are going to do it. We also got this Knight of Swords. And I think this Knight is charging off. Ready to charge. He's got his sword up. He is ready to go for it. If he has to fight, he will. This knight will fight. I just don't want you to act too hastily about something. If something comes up, a matter, um, don't act to make. Don't try to make a quick decision. Keep try to keep a level head. There is going to be coming and going of things this month for you. They're going to be as fast as this knight on. Uh, swords um, jumping in and out people may come and go um, matters may come and go you know you may hear something one day and the next day it's solved or it's gone and you don't hear nothing else about it but if you've got decisions to make um, unless it's a good thing doing dealing with money or a business or a new way to make money Make sure you read all the fine print before you jump in head first with that. So overall, when you take care of this Ten of Wands, guys, you really got to get that off your chest, whatever it is. You know, no matter what it is, whether you're juggling or you just want to get something off your chest that you need to talk to another person or, um... You're just juggling too many things. But you do have more money coming in for the month of October. Or a new way to make money. And could be a new start. Um, but I do see that happening for you. So, 
Let's get us a postcard from Spirit Gemini. Get us a message from Spirit. Let's do a quick shuffle. It says, Dear Shu, over here there is no mystery for us to unravel as we know intimately how connected we all are, how the web of creation works, and how spirit is in every aspect of life from the invisible to the visible. But it's impossible for humans to comprehend the complexities of how things actually work because of the most important threads in the tapestry don't make sense in the dimension you live in. That said, you can feel the importance of these currents of energy that bring events together in miraculous ways. You can't understand with your mind, but you can know in your heart and soul. Trust even though you don't know how, know the how, the what, the why, we do. Surrender them to the mystery and have faith that the unseen world is watching you with loving eyes and spirit weaves your life a mysterious and beautiful tapestry in the glorious techno color. Loving you so much as always, spirit. Wonderful message there, guys. Hope everyone enjoyed their reading. Love each and every one of you. Blessings, my friends, and namaste.